A wire 12 meters long is cut into two pieces. One part is bent to form an equilateral triangle and the other a square. A side of the triangle has a length of 2x meters. Right, so that is the information we have. Let's go ahead and conceptualize so that we can have a bit of clarity. Right, so let's start with the equilateral triangle. Right, so let's see our triangle uh, looks something like this right and then if this triangle is indeed equilateral then all the three sides should be equal to each other right and then we are given the side of the triangle is said to be 2x meters right so now we can say that uh, this side here is 2x this side is also 2x and this side is also 2x right so if you add up all those sizes you're gonna get 6x right that is the amount of wire used to uh, make uh, the triangle right and then now from the piece of wire that is remaining or the other piece uh, it is used to form a square right so let's go ahead and have a square so from the 12 meters we have already lost 6x meters right so we can say 12 minus 6x so this is the amount of wire that is used to construct the square now we can clearly say that one side of the square will be 12 minus 6x divided by 4 the other one will be 12 minus 6x divided by 4 12 minus 6x divided by 4 and lastly 12 minus 6x divided by 4. If you add all those, you get 12 minus 6x. Right, so now we have a bit of clarity. We can finally start answering our equations. Uh, so let's look at 9.1. Uh, so 9.1 is saying that let's write down the length of a side of the square in terms of x. Right, so we have already deduced that. Um, the length of the size of the square will be 12 minus 6x divided by 4. Right, so that is uh, 9.1. And now the interesting equation, 9.2. It is saying that if this square is now used as the base of a rectangular prism with a height of 4x meters, determine the maximum volume of the rectangular prism. Right, so let me just uh, sketch a rectangular prism first before we uh, go on and solve this problem. So at the base, we have uh, the square, right? So we need a square at the base, right? And then we have our heights there. And then, yeah another square at the top right so the size of the square we know fully well that uh we have 12 minus 6x divided by 4 then the other side should also be 12 minus 6x divided by 4 and then the height is c to be 4x right so the question is asking us to determine the maximum volume of the rectangular prism so what are we going to do here so what are we going to do we're going to determine the volume of the rectangular prism and then after determining the volume of the rectangular prism uh, it's going to be in terms of x right because we have a variable we're going to derivate uh, this volume and then when we derivate it we're going to find the maximum and the minimum and then we're going to take the maximum as uh, the maximum volume of our rectangular prism let me show you what i'm talking about so we're going to say that the volume is equals to the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height so this will be equals to so the length we can clearly see here is 12 minus 6x divided by 4 so we're gonna have 12 minus 6x divided by 4 multiplied by the width which is also 12 minus 6x divided by 4 multiplied by the height which is 4x right and now uh, we have 12 minus 6x divided by 4 multiplied by 12 minus 6x divided by 4 uh, that is just 12 minus 6x divided by 4 everything to the power 2 multiplied by 4x right uh, so this will be equals to so if we have uh, a divided by b everything to the power 
2 this is the same as a to the power 2 divided by b to the power 2 right grade 8 mathematics so right if we apply that there we're gonna have so let's start with the easy one let's start with 4 squared 4 squared will give you 16 now we can come to the numerator in the numerator we're gonna see 12 multiplied by 12 that will give us 1 4 4 and then we say 12 multiplied by minus 6x that will give us minus 72x you multiply that by 2 and you get minus 1 4 4 x and then plus minus 6 x multiplied by minus 6 x that will be 36 x squared everything multiplied by 4 x all right so what you can do here uh, you can actually solve this by taking the long road right uh, literally multiplying out the brackets yeah but then yeah my method is a bit advanced now i know how to do it without having to do that right uh, let's let's move forward and see what we have so we can go ahead and multiply uh, the entire numerator by 4x right let's not forget that um we have 4x there so let's try multiply everything and see what we're gonna get so if we see 144 multiplied by 4x we're gonna get uh 576x minus so that will also be 576 but then now we have x squared right and then plus uh 36 multiplied by 4 that is 144 x to the power 3 right and then we're dividing everything by 16 if we go ahead and divide everything by 16 we're gonna get 5760 divided by 16 which is equals to 36 uh, x minus 36 x squared in these uh, in the middle term right and then the last term we have 144 divided by 36 or oh, not 36 but 16 <laughs> divided by 16 that will be plus 9 x to the power to the power 3 right so this is our volume right so what we need to do now is to derivate this and equate to 0 right so if we go ahead and derivate the volume we're gonna get 9 multiplied by 3 which is yeah let me not start by derivation from this side let me start from this side it's fine i was starting from the other side so if we derivate 36x we're gonna get uh 36 and then if we derivate uh, 36x squared we're gonna get 72x and then 9 multiplied by 3 we're derivating 9x to the power 3 we're gonna get 27 x squared right so now we can equate that to zero right let me write it nicely so we're gonna have 27 x squared um, minus 72 x 72 x plus 36 is equal to zero if we take 9 as a common factor we're gonna have 3 x squared minus minus 8 x plus 4 is equal to 0 right so we can divide both sides by 9 and just get 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 is equal to 0 right so now we just need the x values uh, for this quadratic function right it's a bit difficult for me to factorize it when it looks like this i always resort to using uh, the quadratic formula so if i do that i'm gonna add x is equal to uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a right so minus minus 8 plus or minus so i have b squared that is minus 8 squared um minus 4ac a is 3 c is 4 and then everything divided by 2 multiplied by Three, right so let me just uh, put this in my calculator uh, real quick so minus 8 squared minus 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 everything divided by 2 multiplied by 3 so I'm getting x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 2 so let me find out what the other value of x is 
uh, the other value of x is 2 divided by 3, right? So one between these two values is supposed to be a maximum and the other one is supposed to be a minimum. And we're looking for the maximum. So let's go ahead and substitute uh, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2 divided by 3 in our equation for the volume and see what we're going to get, right? So the equation for the volume is uh, right here. This is where we have the equation for our volume. So when we sub x is equal to 2, let's see what we're going to have. So the volume is going to be equal to 2. Let me just uh, put that in my calculator real quick and see what I have. 9. Right. I'm getting 0 actually when I substitute x is equal to 2. Right. Let me substitute x is equal to 2 divided by 3 and see what I get. Uh, so now I just need to divide all the twos by three. Um, and I'm getting, I'm getting 10. Uh, I'm getting a volume of 10.66, uh, 67, um, meters, is it meters? 